This video is sponsored by Value Testers. Great promo offer on Testo, Field Piece, and Baccarat. Free two day shipping on purchase of $200 or more on selected seasonal testing equipment. Link in description below. This video is sponsored by Interplay Learning. Simulation based, step by step, service testing procedures. Beginning to advance courses available. A fun and entertaining way to advance your skills. Limited time discount. Link and promo code in description below. Good morning, guys. It is February 25th, 2019. Come here, I got a call for a guy with a gas run. He said the corner safe pump is leaking. So, I'm going to go over here. I, got, I usually start, I have them in the truck. So. So, Monday morning, try to get you some shots when I get there. It's a Garnacy pump. Turn left on Hancock Street, then take the first right. Try to get you some shots, Ma. It does look like the bottom of it's leaking a little bit, huh? You've had problem with it leaking before in the past? Yeah, it's overflowed. Oh, it has overflowed? Yeah. yeah, let me get a new one. We'll put a new one in there. Yeah, we'll put a new one on there and see what happens. There's definitely water around the base of it. Could have a crack in the bottom too, you know? We'll get another one to try it. Furnace don't seem to be leaking. No. You had problems with it before? Yeah, that problem too. Fluid, I bought the cover. I seized the liquor. How old is it? It's original, twelve years. Twelve years. All right, let me get another. Let's see the pull tie on there or something. Flip the mess. much room to get this thing out of here, do they? Of course not. You figured, you figured that they would cut that a little, a little closer there. Yeah, we'll have to, before they built the wall, maybe something. Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll cut that and we'll, we'll raise it up or something. Put it up on something, a little block or something. Just 12 years is pretty good. Huh? 12 years to last. We'll put a piece of ferment under it or something. She's a crusty one. She's crusty. You put any kind of bleach or anything like that in there? No. no, no I got a bucket here. I'll dump it right in the bucket. Yeah, that thing's definitely full. She's crusty. Get a little 
little clamp for that. I'm going to pull this out for it to work. I'll just get a couple of pieces of ferrin underneath of it. Be fine, or even a block. I might have a block in the truck. Put a block under it. On the floor. Well, no, because I I couldn't get it out because the way the pipe was too far down. So if I put a block under it, lift it up, I won't have to worry about it. We have to get to it again. We pull the block out, take the pump out. Right. You know, usually it's screwed in. Usually it's screwed in. I don't think I can screw it in because it's going to be too far out there. See it? I'll get a block. I'll put a little brick under there. It'll be fine. I've got to get a little You want to get me some water in this bucket so I could do it? Well, you got to maybe fill it right up in that sink, if not upstairs. You had a problem with a radiator hose on my truck and thing was leaking. A heater hose, I should say. So, I got some new heater hose. I had to do that this morning. And kept dripping, dripping, dripping. Well, oh, I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to fill this thing up and run it. So yeah, if I don't have enough, we'll get a. We'll fill it again. Okay. That's fine. I got a funnel, so we'll see. Yeah. What happens with the old ones is they get all crusty inside. And is it strange they didn't connect the safety switch? The only thing that I'll do is I'll shut the furnace off if it starts leaking. You don't really need it in there. You don't understand what I'm saying? If the thing starts acting up, that's just an end switch that will just open and um, the unit won't run anymore. So you don't really need to have that. This way here, if you ever have to get it apart again, we'll just take the bricks out and drop it and come right off, right? <clears throat> we'll plug it in and put some water in it if we can. You got a bucket? How much did you give me? Not here. No, no. That's not that's not much. <laughs> we'll see if it works.
Just want to make sure we don't have a blockage on the uh, Yeah, we might must have a blockage on that line. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it runs across all the way over here. Was the other one running, 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 never shutting off? No. Uh, not really. That's about what we need for a run cycle. This makes it easier with those two blocks, all right? Yeah. If we ever have to get it apart again, or if you ever want to put some... Uh, bleach in the air or anything like that you can all right so the, i can hook up these end switches if you want uh but all you do is just shut the unit off do you check on this thing every so often i do but we came home once and it was all went into the other room of water underneath the carpet yeah what i could do is i could hook that up if you want and uh if it ever does fill up again right it just shuts the unit off you won't have any heat right you want me to? I mean, is it a big deal? Not really. Let me just hook it up to the thermostat wire. Cut the white or the red going to the heat. Really, that's usually hooked up on the air conditioning part. Oh, really? You know? But I could break the red, which which controls both uh, heating, and, heating and cooling. You know? Okay. Why don't I do that? So then the unit won't run at all, correct? I'm just going to dump this and get some thermostat wire and tie that in. We'll be good. Weird winter, huh? No snow. I know. You ever seen anything like it before? I haven't. No, I haven't in a long time. I mean, it rained all day yesterday. That should have been snow. Yeah, some snow today, they said. Yeah, so we're just going to break the red. We'll just break the red, so if that thing ever does fill up, it's just going to stop the power going to the thermostat, what it'll do. Which is pretty simple. You know? yeah. So there's an end switch in there. If that thing fills up and doesn't pump, it just um, just opens this leg. Okay. So that will shut power going off to your thermostat. Because right now, the red runs up to your thermostat and runs heating and cooling, right? Correct. So if this thing does open, um, this would be the first thing you want to check. Happens. Well, you're gonna have no heat, and then you're gonna call somebody, obviously. I'm gonna break the red. Which is this one?
So that'll be the first thing you want to check. Yeah. You can pop them little covers off and look in there and see if there's any if there's any water in there. should do it. The power goes down through the, uh, the pump, back through the pump switch, up to the thermostat. What does that mean? It's, it's effective unit or? Well, it could be anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to say what it could be. I mean, the only way of checking it is coming here and testing things, right? right. Once I get this cover on, I want you to go upstairs and run the, run the unit, make sure it works okay before I go. Okay. It's like it's almost, this little screw here on the cover. Alright, go ahead and turn it on. I'll turn the power on here and okay. see if it runs. Well, right, here it goes. It's calling. It's calling. Put it up on them two little blocks, pull them blocks out, it drops right down. Hook this up to the red. Is that a good friend? It's a good man. As long as it heats the house, it's a good furnace, right? Exactly. When it don't heat the house, then you got issues. New condensate pump tight end safety switch to red 24 volts. You want to look at that uh, condensate pump before I chuck it, or I'll just get rid of it? I think that one might have had a crack in the, in the bottom of the pan there. That's what it looks like to me. The pan might have had a crack in it right there. Anyway, we'll put a new one in there for the guy. Here's the safety switch right there. No, this is the safety switch right here. This is the safety switch, and that turns the pump on and off. There's a little wire, a little thing that goes in there that holds that. You pull that little cardboard out, and then it activates it. 